Welcome everyone, hope you are doing well. Energy commodities are soaring amid the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Energy commodities rallied as war in Ukraine showed no sign of slowing, with utilities, refineries and traders scrambling to secure supplies, oil prices traded up around 10%, thermal coal prices rose around 15% and European natural gas prices spiked around 20% already. Following nearly a decade of reduced fossil fuel investment, incremental short-term supplies are near impossible to find, suggesting reduced demand will be required to stabilize prices. This Sunday, Goldman Sachs raised their one-month Brent oil price forecast to $115, and Tuesday, Morgan Stanley lifted their quarter-two Brent forecast to $110 from $100, citing a geopolitical risk premium. Famed oil trader Pierre Andurin recently tweeted that on inflation-adjusted basis, the 2008 oil price high of $147 would translate to a price of $222 in today's dollars. In the event Russian supplies are interrupted by sanction or by the Kremlin, Pierre's math suggests price could go much higher before having a meaningful impact on demand. Before moving on, just a quick announcement our Discord members get timely alerts and we made handsome money through options even though stock market remained range bound. BDF call doubled in week and SOC call options tripled and NVDA put options also tripled but I sold early for two time gains while Google provided an excellent opportunity to buy near 2500. You can join our Patreon and Discord server and get timely alerts on stock market. This deal offers ton of other benefits too. You can join our weekly options trading and technical analysis workshops. You can ask any question or request any demo related to options trading and technical analysis. For example, if you don't know how to buy or sell an option contract, then we will show you how you can do that on your terminal. And on top of that, you will receive daily and weekly buying selling opportunities on a regular basis and access to my trades list. You can also chat with me during market hours and ask any question. We have an investor community of more than 1000 members where we all strive to make money. Link to join on Patreon is given below in the description. We have a limited time discount offer where all the benefits are offered under $20 tier. Join now because we have limited seats. Now let's get back to the video. Rising energy prices are sure to provide a boom to producers. And in this video, I am bringing four stocks, including two from oil sector and two from coal sector, which could be benefited during the wartime and energy commodities hikes. More importantly, first two stocks pay handsome quarterly dividends and the dividend payout is supposed to increase subsequent to the energy commodities hikes. First on the list is Devon Energy Corporation, ticker symbol DVN. Surging oil prices are generating ample free cash flow that could surpass $6 billion during 2022. Given their fixed plus variable dividend policy, this stands to translate into a high 9% positive yield on current cost. The post-pandemic oil prices recovery pushed the company's free cash flow to reach $2.99 billion and provide very strong coverage of 212.85% to their $1.315 billion of dividend payments. It left excess free cash flow of $1.484 billion of which $589 million were subsequently directed towards share buybacks. As they pushed ahead with their new shareholder return policy and accompanying capital allocation strategy. Similarly, company's liquidity is easily strong with a current ratio of 1.38 and even more impressively a cash ratio of 0.74 that provides an ample fiscal cushion especially when considering that their credit facility still retains a further $3 billion of availability. This should not deteriorate during 2022 given their prospects to generate ample free cash flow, especially with no debt maturities and only relatively minor ones to follow during 2023 to 2025. As of September 30th, 2021, Devon Energy had $4.632 billion in net debt compared to $9.061 billion of total shareholders' equity. This gives the company a net debt-to-equity ratio of 0.51 and that is lower than its peers. According to Zach's investment research, Devon Energy will grow its earnings per share at a 40.34% rate over the next 3-5 to five years. That gives the company a price-to-earnings growth ratio of 0.22 
at the current stock price, which is clear sign that the stock is still undervalued at current price. Second on the list is Pioneer Natural Resources Company, ticker symbol PXD. Pioneer currently expects approximately 357,500 barrels of oil production per day and 635,500 barrels of oil equivalent per day in total production during the year 2022. At current strip of over $105 WTI oil and $4.50 Henry Hub natural gas, Pioneer would be able to generate $14.409 billion in revenues before hedges. Pioneer's capital expenditure budget for 2022 may be around $3.45 billion. This would result in it having approximately $6.474 billion in cash expenditures for 2022 and positive cash flow of $7.766 billion before any dividends. As far as dividends are concerned, Pioneer's current quarterly base dividend of $0.78 per share adds up to $758 million per year with around 243 million shares outstanding at the end of 2021. This would leave $7.008 billion for variable dividends, share repurchases and debt reduction. If Pioneer allocates 75% of this amount towards variable dividends, that would result in a variable dividend of $21.63 per share or $5,256 billion in total. Pioneer's total dividend related to 2022 results would be $24.75 per share in this scenario. Right now, PXD is in a very good spot. The company is able to produce oil at a low cost, it has a very healthy balance sheet, no hedges for 2022 and a CEO that has been with the company since day one. Yet he does not own a position large enough to endanger the stock price if he ever decides to get rid of all of his PXD shares. This year, the dividend yield could be somewhere between 11% and 15% based on the current stock price if oil prices move between $80 and $100 WTI. That's a terrific payout. Third on the list is Peabody Energy Corporation, ticker symbol BTU. Coal is almost universally loathed by investors as any institutional investor with an ESG mandate will not even consider investing in this perceived relic from a bygone era. Additionally, individual investors burned by the boom and bus cycles have generally eschewed coal names from their portfolios. The resulting lack of capital towards coal names and the lack of capital investment combined with the continued usage of coal in power generation and steel making worldwide has led to a wrench in the capital cycle. More specifically, we have record high coal prices today for both metallurgical coal and thermal coal Yet we are not seeing elevated valuations for coal producers, which prevents new supply from coming online. Specific to metallurgical coal, which is necessary component in virgin steel from blast furnaces, prices are far above even their elevated 2016 levels. Similarly, thermal coal prices as measured by Australian Newcastle coal prices have broken to new all-time highs. Given prevailing coal prices, I expect Peabody Energy to be net debt-free in 2022 once they officially report their fourth quarter 2021 results and Peabody's net debt-free moment coming later in 2022. Personally, I think we will supersede the capital rotation that took place from growth to value during 2000 to 2007. Next on the list is Console Energy Incorporation ticker symbol CEIX. Consul Energy mines bituminous coal from the Pennsylvania Mining Complex also known as PAMC. The PAMC is the largest underground mining complex in the United States with capacity of 28 million tons per annum and recoverable reserves of 658 million tons. PAMC coal is extremely high quality with a very high energy content to weight ratio and a low sulfur content. Given these desirable qualities, customers from around the world want to import PAMC coal. Since today's coal market is characterized by demand exceeding supply and Russia-Ukraine conflict has pushed the energy commodities price up and as per outlook, Consol Energy has already committed 20.2 million tons for 2022 in the low $50 per ton price range. I estimate they will sell another 3.8 million tons at an average price of $74 into the export market. This works out to an average price of around $54 per ton. 
At these prices, I expect Consul Energy to generate $9 and $12 in free cash flow per share in 2022 and 2023 respectively. This more or less equals their current share price. It deserves mention that free cash flow is higher in 2023 as they will be running 5 long walls instead of 4 and their Itman metallurgical mine will have an entire year's worth of contribution. Importantly, CEIX will likely soon be able to return a substantial amount of this cash to shareholders. Irrespective of how the politics play out and the war would end up how, the coal crunch marches on with limited ability to ramp supply to satisfy the market. In the meantime, Consul Energy is in a prime position to use their logistically advantaged low-cost assets to deliver high-quality coal into the market all while trading at an extremely modest valuation and with potentially large returns to shareholders on the horizon.